Hey everybody, I'm Andy Smith. I'm a 30 year comic book veteran, having worked for Marvel Comics, DC Comics, Image Comics, Cross Generation, Ominous Press, you name it, I've probably worked for them. And I do other things art wise outside of comics in the field of advertising. I've also written some books on drawing comics you might have seen, uh, drawing American manga superheroes, Drawing Dynamic Comics was my first book. And I also did the handy little How to Draw Superhero sketchbook where all you need is a pencil because you do all the work right inside the book. Enough about that. This is the Book Look series. The Book Look series is where I grab a book off my library. You can see the tons of books I have behind me. And I go through it page by page with you so you can see if it's a book that you might want to buy. I like to know what I want to buy before I buy it, and I feel this is a way to give you some insight into these books. So join me for today's book look. Thanks. Hello, everybody. It is Andy Smith, your host with the most, 32-year veteran of the comic book industry with another book look. Uh, this one was actually inspired by, uh, we were talking about it on the professionals uh, a couple, or this past week, I think, Capcom Design Works. Um, I think Dan Fraga brought it up. Um, this book actually, uh, the best place to try and find it is probably eBay. I think it goes for around 70, 80 bucks. Uh, I've had this book for 25 years or so. Um, I got it cheap when it wasn't super expensive at a convention. Obviously, I cannot read this book, um, but I didn't buy it to read. I bought it because of the artwork. I mean, right out of the gate, that's a beautiful picture. Um, basically, illustration of Capcom video games. Uh, some stuff, uh, I mean, it's weird how some stuff is in English and some isn't, like this says Photoshop Painter. You know, it's, it's just a, very nice uh, art book, uh, Evil Slayer. So at least some of it I can read. Designer's comments, I obviously cannot read. But uh, yeah, I just like it because of the artwork and stuff. And like I said, with this book being uh, as old as it is, maybe I can read when it came out. Uh, well, I was kind of hoping there'd be an indicia, at least with uh, something I could... I could read. Oh, I'll have to try and see. Maybe it says somewhere when it came out. But it's just, like I said, it's just really nice artwork. If you're into Capcom uh, video games, it just uh, shows a lot of the different art that were done for the games and design stuff and such. That is uh, really, really cool and can be used as inspiration. Um. I totally forgot I had this book, to be honest. Uh, I always liked Street Fighter. I have a couple Street Fighter small graphic novels that um, I bought because I really uh, like the art in them. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of that company now that puts those out. I'm sure somebody in the chat will do a great job and remind me of the name. Uh, oh, Udon. There you go. Udon. Udon, Udon. You know who I'm talking about. They always have a nice booth out in San Diego. Uh, but the other nice thing about this book is just the variety of styles that you see throughout the book. In terms of art, some of this stuff looks like it's CG uh, or, you know, computer generated artwork. Like, this this stuff does nothing for me, to be honest. Never, never has. So, like, I could, I could flip through these chapters quickly. Oh, look, I am. Just because if you like it, uh, pause the video, go to playback sp speed, slow it down, and uh, take a better look at it this way. But then we get to this stuff, and I'm like, oh, yeah, now we're looking at, now we're looking at cool stuff like that. Oh, that's cool. You know, that's wicked cool. That guy right there. 
So I, I fluctuate between stuff I think is really cool like this. Oh man, I love this stuff. I don't know who that dude is right there, but that's just pretty cool. That really crazy twist in his body. And it is a thick book. I mean, this book is clocking in at, let me see, 200 some pages. So uh, it ain't thin, that's for sure. Chapter 2, wish I could tell you what Chapter 2 is going to be about. Oh, it's uh, Capcom vs. SNK Pro. Um, I actually have a couple of these graphic novels. There's there's like six or seven where it's Capcom vs. Street Fighter and stuff. And the art is just fantastic. They're not manga. I think they're uh, Korean. I'll have to go back and look. Uh, the art is really cool. The action uh, scenes and stuff. This is stuff I wish was bigger right here. These character designs. I wish they were, were bigger. Cool line art and stuff. But yeah, in the, in the graphic novel I'm talking about that I have is... Uh, it's of a series and I only have one of them. You know, uh, um, but it's cool. It's a fun read when I read it years ago and I got it. But this is the stuff I really dig. Like, I love this uh, this art right here, this Street Fighter new generation. Um, love this guy. Can't remember his name. I'm sure you guys in the chat will remind me. Love this guy as well and I just like the drawing style um I have a couple action figures old school like I got them back for Christmas from my wife that's awesome uh back in the late 90s when we lived in Orlando um the action figure I have looks like this drawing build wise it is just so cool i'll have to actually you know what i might have to do a search on ebay just to see what if they're the two action figures i have are worth anything because one's this guy i haven't seen the other guy yet it's a it's a big black dude it's not that guy because the the other dude i have is uh shirtless as well i don't see him though but he is part of the, the Street Fighter crew. It's not that guy. I don't know. I have to look. I also have this cool little uh, uh, manga-sized black and white graphic novel. Uh, it's in American, though. English, so I can read it. English is what I meant to say. Um, about uh, what's-her-face, Cammy. That's pretty cool. I bought it because of the artwork. Maybe I'll do a book look on that, on a couple of those, even though they're not art books or instructional books. That's what I like to do book looks for. I like to save uh, comic type stuff for other things. You know, my I do video, those shorts that are a minute long. I'll do flip throughs of stuff. This is some of my favorite stuff in this whole book is this Street Fighter stuff. This is probably why I bought it. right here love this stuff this dude is so cool i don't know his name but love that guy this chick love this drawing style right here i haven't seen a lot of stuff come out from udon I'm sure they're still a publisher. I know they're, I'm pretty sure they're in uh, Canada. I'm trying to see. Oh, there's no English saying. Guy, I can't remember what this is. Love that character. What is that? Cybots. It's getting just really nice design stuff in here. It's, it's one of these books that I should have next to my desk. So when I'm looking for art inspiration, 
I can just flip through it to get the, the creative juices flowing. Because, I mean, just looking at this stuff. Now, look, I mean, now we're into mecha-type stuff. Freaking cool. And I, there's, ah, oh, man, this one artist that works for Udon. Stuff I really dig. He did some stuff in uh, Marvel uh, manga. And the reason I'm not turning the page is because I'm looking up at my bookshelf because I have this manga collection. And I think he did work in it. So maybe you'll get an added treat at the end of this book look. And I'll show that. Here we go from the old video game. You guys remember this video game? Street Fighter vs. Marvel. I remember that. That was very cool. So I wish this stuff was bigger. This stuff doesn't do much for me. That's really cool. So I take that back. That's really cool. Stuff on the left. Little chibi stuff. That, that doesn't do much for me. This is freaking cool. I love the rendering on this guy. I wish this dude right here top left was bigger. And I wish these weren't. It looks like they put like some uh, screen over top of it to make them more faint and push back. And I don't know why you would do that with an art book because I'd like to see that in better detail. Chapter three. Don't know what it's about, but I guess we'll find out. Didn't even mean to rhyme, but I did, and I don't do it all the time. Oh, look at that, breaking it down like frag -a boom This is really nice. Which this gave, well, it does give credit to the artist. I just can't read it. Uh, this is another book that I think if this went back to press, and I think if there was an English version of it, I think it would sell fantastic. I really do. Chapter 4. Beautiful. Here we go. Some more cool design stuff here. Inspirational type stuff. These are cool. It's again, not a big fan of this chibi stuff. Drawing uh, characters like they're little kids, I guess, is the thing. Eh, to each their own. Then we get back some stuff I think is cool. That's freaking cool. I've got other uh, Japanese art books. I guess I could do book looks through. They're called, uh, I want to say, I think they're actually, technical name is Mooks, M-O-O-K-S. If I remember correctly, when I bought them from like uh, San Diego and stuff. Oh, chapter five. Looks like more Street Fighter. 2000. So this book could be 25 years old, 20 years old. Well, no, I got it. I got it when I was living in Florida. I want to say late 90s. Um, I think I saw it at a bookstore. I didn't pay much. I think I only paid like 30 bucks for it. And like I said, I just, I did check eBay and on eBay, the book sells for about, um, I think I saw one for 75 I mean, You might be able to find it cheaper. You can probably get a PDF of it if you don't mind, you know, having it digitally like that. I personally like having um, hard copies of certain books, and this is, this is definitely one of them.
Not quite sure what's going on with this dude. But yeah, we're getting to the end of it. Um, if you're a fan of this stuff and you have the money, I would definitely recommend going and uh, getting this book. If you're an artist, you'll definitely find it inspirational for sure. And then a bunch of logos. I mean, even if you're just like looking for logo stuff for at least the stuff that you can read in English, you know, seeing some cool different designs. And then an appendix. Look at that. Copic markers right there. Um, wow. Okay. So this would be really cool if I could read it. Nice little floor plan here of, uh, yeah, I don't know where. If anybody looking at this video knows, uh, let me know. And a nice little cartoon here of uh, a day in the life, maybe. I'm just making that up, so I honestly don't know. And then, yeah, it's an appendix, so I'd love to see some of these sketches bigger. So, yeah, so that is... Oh, and this does have a dust jacket, so it just kind of rolled some. That is the art of Capcom. Real quick, I want to show you. So these are the two oops, two little uh, uh, graphic novels I have that I was talking about. So the artist I really like that works for Udon is, uh, and this is uh, from them, is Alvin Lee. Uh I love, I love Alvin Lee's artwork. He actually did a story. He's he's done a couple things for Marvel. There's one I remember with Spider-Man and the Hulk and Iron Man he did. I know I have it somewhere. Uh, but I love this dude stuff so much. It is just great action. I'm not going to go through this whole book, but uh, great perspectives camera angles. Um, I love the coloring in this as well. I mean, this is just like a freaking cartoon come to life. So this is Alvin Lee. I really love this guy's stuff. Uh, just really cool. Like I said, I'm not going through every page of this stuff. Uh, and this is, this is volume three. I should probably look for one and two. And then the other book I was talking about is this Super Street Fighter 2 uh, Cammy, this came out, when did this one come out, actually, now I'm curious, let's see where the Indicia is, uh, this is not Alvin Lee, by the way, right here, um, I was looking, and I don't know who drew this, but once again, it's just over-exaggerated, it's very Joe Maderera, I like the style, um, 2006 is when this one came out, so, and then this one, this Cami one, which I've actually seen go for sort of, uh, not super high price, but more than cover. This is from 1997. And the art is by Masahiko Nakahira. Masahiko Nakahira. Um, I dig it. I like this. It's, it's, it's freaking cool. Like I said, Marvel put out some manga stuff that Ben Dunn did. And Alvin Lee actually drew some of it too. Uh, there's a big trade paperback called Marvel Manga Verse, which has all been done, and I think it's really cool. And uh, I, I love this stuff. You know, I love the black and white of it. Look, oh, that's just so cool. I love that cross hatching and stuff. I just, I, I think it's really freaking cool. Um, I read this too. I didn't just buy this and be like, oh, great art. No, I, I sat down and read it. There's a, there's a cool shot of ca Cami in here. Well, there's a few of them, but there's one I'm really thinking of. That's pretty cool. Uh, where is it? Let me see. I might have already passed it. I mean, that's a nice shot, but that's not the one I was thinking of. Just nice backgrounds and stuff. Uh, I'd like to get a hold of their background artist and be like, hey, how much for backgrounds? 
It's just really, uh, really cool stuff. I think that's nice. You know, I like the way they do their page layouts and stuff. Um, you can definitely see image picked up a lot when it comes to page layouts. That's one of the shots I was talking about. It's really cool. And then lastly, I want to show you guys those figures I was talking about. So this is one my wife got me. Just look at the proportions on it. I thought this, this is when this I got, literally Joe Mad was working on X-Men. And I, I got this and I thought, holy crap, that's like a Joe Mad figure um, in 3D. And then this is the guy's name I don't know, who I thought was really cool too. So, so there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this book look. Uh, showing some extra stuff. The main book, of course, Capcom Design Works. And then we looked at these as well. Uh, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment below, and go check out my new art book, um, Nice and Tight, the comic book pencil art of Andy Smith. That's me. Uh, 52 pages of beautiful uh, scans of just my pencils that other people inked over. Um, it's a peek behind the curtain. You know, unless you were the anchor or the editor, a lot of these pages have never been seen before, untouched by the anchor. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. I've been blessed with working with great anchors. So go check it out. I think you'll enjoy it. There's other goodies you can get along with it. I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye-bye. Nice and tight, the comic book pencil art of Andy Smith. That's me. This book features 52 pages of some of my favorite full pencils that I did for other companies over the past two decades. The raw pencils as they were seen by the inker and now you can see them for the first time. This book also comes in a digital format so you can practice your inking in your favorite program. Back it today.